It's time for another episode of New Makeup Releases. Hello and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I didn't do one of these videos last week because I was out of town. So we have a lot to talk about and catch up on, on all the things that have been sneak peek launched this past couple of weeks. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I wanna hear your thoughts down in the comments. I will link everything I can down below in the description box, including release date information, pricing information, Instagram accounts that I pull from, all of that will be in the description box. Everything that is on my face will be in a pinned comment and let's do it. I almost always ever scoot to this side. <laughs> I just thought I would mix it up a little bit. Why the heck not? Let's start off with a couple of really exciting launches in my opinion in the past couple of weeks. My friend Anielika Nikvist has a brand called Singe Beauty and she has released her second collection with the brand. Her first collection she launched earlier this year was an eye brush set. I own two of the eye brush sets because they're amazing. They are synthetic brushes that feel super soft. They perform amazingly. And now she has released a face brush set and also two new eye brushes. And she has released a powder puff and a sponge. I did receive the face brushes and the two eye brushes in PR and I've been playing with them a lot. I've been using them a lot. And I am uploading a video tomorrow talking about new things I've added to my collection. So I go a little bit deeper into like how I've been using the brushes and my thoughts on them. But spoiler alert, they are amazing. They are so freaking soft. They are synthetic, like I said, but they're meant to mimic natural hair brushes. Angie, you did really good with this release. I'm really excited to get the puff and the sponge. I am going on vacation, so I think I will place an order when I come back because I don't want it to arrive while I'm away. But yeah, let me know if you picked up the new Singe Beauty brushes. Are you thinking about picking them up? If you're waiting for reviews, I will tell you right off the bat, they're really nice. And they are more small, like the face brushes are more small face brushes. So if you're looking for more like precision face brushes, I think, I think you would really enjoy them. So yeah, very excited for her. And I will of course link Singe Beauty's website down below. So you know I love indie eyeshadows. They're my favorite thing ever. Well, not ever, but you know what I mean, when it comes to makeup. and. Simply Posh, they make really nice eyeshadows and they just released a new eyeshadow palette. The day that I am posting this, it will have been yesterday, December 15th. So it is, I'm assuming still available now. It is the Aurora Lights palette. I did receive this in PR. I'm very excited to play with it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And it is in their usual layout where they kind of have monochromatic columns where we have a more light to mid-tone shade at the top that's matte and then a shimmer shade and then a deeper shade, kind of in the same colorway, which makes it very easy to create very simple looks. But of course, all of these shadows look like they're gonna work really well together. Simply Posh's formula is very good. Their mattes are very easy to use and their shimmers are so beautiful. Smooth yet sparkly, which is my favorite type of shimmer if I had to say. So this palette is kind of like a spinoff of a previously released palette. It says, after I launched Northern Lights in 2021, I knew I wanted to release a bigger palette with more shade options. I absolutely love this theme and color story. So it was so fun to create. At the moment of filming, it hasn't launched, but it has launched by the time you're seeing this. So I'm not 100% sure of the pricing information, but you can use my affiliate code, Rachel, if you wanna save 10% off. Thank you so much if you do decide to use the code. I really appreciate it. But of course I will link it down below. I'm probably gonna include it in like a three palettes, three looks video, something like that in the future. But let me know if you're picking this up. If you did pick it up, I would love to know your thoughts. Another indie eyeshadow release is Gourmand Girls and Doodles by The Bunny. They released a new eyeshadow palette called the Silent Night Palette and it, came out of nowhere. They showed a picture on Instagram and they said, oh, by the way, we're dropping a new palette tomorrow. And I was just like, like I had whiplash. I was like, oh, okay, sounds good. Um, I did receive this in PR. I have already used it once. I filmed a video with it and I wasn't in focus. So you won't be seeing, you won't be seeing that video, but again, hoping to include this in a future, like three palettes, three looks video, something like that. This palette is really pretty. Like when I first saw it, I thought it was a blue palette, but it's really not. There's only four blues out of the entire palette. It is more like cool tones. We have a couple of pops of like gold and yellow. Really, really beautiful. And from what I used from the first time I used it, the quality seems like the good Gorman Girls quality, silkier mattes, really pretty shimmers. 
and you can really get some good neutral looks out of this, which I always love if I can get a neutral look out of a palette. So let me know if you picked this up. Gourmand Girls and Doodles by The Bunny are the dream team. Like they've created some really beautiful palettes over the past couple of years, and I'm really excited that they're continuing to create together. Let me know. Uh, I do also have an affiliate code with Gourmand Girls. It is also Rachel. Thank you so much if you do use it. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll use it at some point in the future on my channel or maybe like a short or an Instagram reel. Another indie eyeshadow palette that has launched is Bella Beauté Bar is I guess re-releasing the Angles of Illumination. I do remember seeing people use this last year, I wanna say or earlier this year, listen, this year is a blur. I was going through the palettes that I'm gonna rank, like all the palettes I've tried this year, and there were so many palettes that, that launched at the beginning of the year that I really had to like go back on my channel and check and be like, no, these launched last year. This can't have been this year. Like this year is simultaneously felt like the longest year in the world, but also went by in the blink of an eye. You're right, am I right? So they are re-releasing this. It has already launched by the time this video is going up. It is an all shimmer palette. 15 unique duochrome shimmer shades and one multi-chrome. The price is $69. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of an all shimmer palette. I don't really need it in my collection, but I did buy three palettes from Bella Beauté Bar on Black Friday. Again, you're gonna see that in my haul video tomorrow. Um, I really adore, adore their eyeshadow formula. I think especially their mattes are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm keeping my eye out for whatever they may release next that includes matte shadows. It is pretty though, it is pretty. Of course, I will link it down below. And then we have a sneak peek from Glam Light. They are collaborating with the band Kiss. It says that it's coming soon, early winter 2024. And I do believe Giselle, the owner of Glam Light, put on her story or something that it's coming at the end of January. Uh, listen, I'm not a big Kiss fan. I like Kiss's, like some of their songs are cool to just like bop to. And like, if you're having a drink and the plays at the bar, you can like bop to it, but I'm not a Kiss fan. Will I purchase this? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see like what the products are. All that to say, I'm not like super excited for it, but I also don't hate it. It's like, okay, you know, if this is your favorite band, I'm happy for you. Like I'm excited. We only have these little sneak peeks. It looks like it's a picture of a purse. I'm looking at dupe that. And they have also speculated that it's like a mascara or eyeliner, maybe an eyeshadow palette. I'm guessing there'll be an eyeshadow palette, but let me know your thoughts on this. Are you a huge Kiss fan and are you excited about this? Let me know. The end of the year slash beginning of the year is when the drugstore makeup vomits out a whole bunch of new products. This is pretty typical. I guess like whatever, you know, reason drugstores, they revamp all of their stands at the beginning of the year. So we have a lot of new drugstore releases to talk about. I'm not gonna talk about every single one. I only picked the ones that I thought were like even intriguing to talk about. Milani did release a whole bunch of products. I did notice on Ulta's website and I actually picked one up and I am wearing it today. So this is the Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. It does come in four shades, $12.99. Like I said, it is available at Ulta at this moment. I got the second shade. The lightest shade looked to me pretty cool toned and it's just not my preference. But I will say looking at this picture, the second shade looks a lot lighter in the picture than it does in person, but it still works. Like, like I said, I'm wearing it. I think it works. It's a little deep for me right now. Like it's not really, maybe I should have brought it onto my chest, but listen, I don't, I don't care. But all that to say, if you have like my skin tone or lighter, you might wanna go for the lightest shade. I don't know, it's hard to say, but I will say it is very easy to blend. There's quite a lot of product in the component. If you've used the cream blush formula, it's very similar to the cream blush formula. Emollient, blendable. I wouldn't say it's like overly matte or overly dewy. It's kind of in the middle. It is claiming to be a soft matte finish, which I have very oily skin. So to me, on me, it doesn't look very matte. It just looks more satin. So let me know if you picked this up or if you're interested. Uh, I will keep you posted. I'll put it in a speed reviews in the future, but so far I'm enjoying it. Makeup Revolution is releasing a handful of new products. Uh, this highlighter actually looks really beautiful. So this is the Makeup Revolution Beam Bright Highlighter Glass Skin Glow. It almost looks like a baked highlighter from this picture. Honestly, if this was sold at Ulta or like in the drugstore, I might pick one up because it looks stunning. Silky Powder Formula melts in the skin like a liquid, provides an effortless golden hour glow, compact design, perfect for on the go in five shades. It says it's available now on Makeup Revolution's website and it retails for $8.80.
this looks really pretty. On the models, it does truly look like a lip from within glow, which I like. I mean, I like a beaming highlighter too. Listen, it just depends on the day, but these look really pretty. Have you seen this in store? Have you picked it up? Let me know. I could be coerced. This whole collage of Makeup Revolution items is a snooze fest to me. So this is the new Revolution Pro items. It's on the Revolution Beauty US website. So we have the Undress Iconic Shadow Palette for $15. So the $15 one, which must be the one that's up at the top right, the big one. $15, that's pretty cheap, but that honestly, like I like neutrals, but this to me looks, looks boring. I said it. Then we have the Stripped Iconic Regeneration Palette, which is, I'm guessing the pinky one for 10. That seems affordable. I zoomed in and they look like they're all shimmers. I don't know if that's just the pat, like the picture, but Iconic Matte Cream Blush Wand, three shades for $9 each. Angelica Nikvist always talks about the cream blush formula from Makeup Revolution being nice, but this is a matte cream blush version, so not sure. Iconic Lip Edit, two shades for $15. Iconic Eye and Cheek Palette, two shades for $10 each. That's very affordable. Iconic Blush and Highlight Party, $12. <sighs> I'm bored. I'm bored. I kind of don't really have anything else to say. <laughs> I I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy something like this, but let me know your thoughts. ELF is releasing a couple of new products as well. So we have the Camel Liquid Blush. It's being spotted in Target stores. It looks to be a dewy formula in eight shades. That's kind of all it says. Um, it looks like the shades are really, really nice, like very vibrant shades. We've also got more like brown based shades, something different. Something different for the drugstore. I think that's really fun. Uh, I just did my blush to clutter video and I kind of have come to the realization that I'm not really a liquid blush fan. I just, I don't really like most liquid blush formulas. I prefer creams or powders. So I think I am gonna skip on this formula, but I think this is gonna be really nice for people to be able to pick up in store. And it's gonna be really nice if you're looking for these kind of different colors that most brands don't really release, so. I like that. I don't have pricing or anything like that based on this picture, but of course I will let you know. Any information I have, I'll put down below. They've also releasing the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. So many brands are releasing these types of products now. We can thank uh, Tarte for releasing their Maracuji Juicy Lips. Everybody's trying to ride the coattails of Tarte. Uh, NYX just released a version of this, which I did pick up, but the e.l.f. one looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades but it says it's $10 Canadian. So maybe it's only available. Oh, it's spotted in Canada online. Coming soon to the USA. This one I would try. So it says lip plumper. Oh, it's a lip plumper. Okay, let's keep reading. Gloss and balm that drenches lips in a sheer wash of color and shine while plumping the appearance of lips with an invigorating tingle. Invigorating tingle. That sounds kind of fun and sexy, but also dangerous at the same time. I might take one for the team and buy one when they come out. <laughs> but this looks really pretty. I love these types of products, like the click up pens. The one from NYX isn't very glossy, like it's not as emollient as the Tarte one, but this one looks quite emollient, like it will be a true gloss. So stay tuned, stay tuned. I may, I may pick these up. Something else that e.l.f. launched that I did pick up is their new lip oil. Um, I got one that is in the shade Honey Talks. It's a brown pinky nude. I've been really enjoying it. I did buy mine at Ulta for $8. They are available and the, the texture is very nice. It is a medium weight oil. It's got a nice shine to it. It's not sticky. It's like one dip coats your lips. It's really nice so far. I've only had it for, you know, about five days or so. So I don't have my final thoughts, but so far I've been really enjoying it. NYX has released, like I said, a bunch of other products besides that balm, which we talked about last time, but it looks like they've dropped a few other products as well. So we have the Pro Fix Stick. Pro Fi Their products are so hard to say. Pro Fix Stick. And these look like concealers and color correctors. I'm looking for a peachy color corrector that is a little bit lighter. I use the e.l.f. camo color corrector, but it is quite a dark peach. For me right now with having no tan, it's a little dark for me. So I am planning to pick up the, the light pink one in this picture. I did go on NYX's website and it is sold out. Of course, the only one that I want, it's sold out, but I'm interested to try this. Did you pick this up? I would love to know. There's quite a lot of shades with color correcting shades as well as just like regular 
concealer shades. It says it's medium coverage with a natural finish for $9 each. Then we have the Marshmallow Setting Spray. I love the Marshmallow Primer. It's one of my favorite like hydrating primers. I think it's phenomenal. So they have now a matte setting spray version for $10. Again, I think if I was in store and I saw it in store, I would probably pick it up. I'm getting back into setting spray. I did not use setting spray for a really long time. And then we have the seven new nude line loud shades. So this is like a, a lip liner, I guess. And they look like more like deeper nudes. That's very exciting. Let me know your thoughts on any of these products. I will link them down below. Physicians Formula has released a slew of products. I forget about Physicians Formula. I don't know about you, but like they're not, certainly not one of my favorite uh, drugstore brands. I do like the butter bronzer. Like I still have the butter bronzer, but all the other products I've ever tried from the brand have just been okay or not good. And I don't even look at their stand when I walk by them in the drugstore. I just feel like they're not changing and like everything they release looks the same as everything that they've released eight years ago. And to me, like looking at this stuff, it looks literally the same as everything else they've released. So this is the uh, 2024 collection. We have a BB cream for $16.99, a lip butter for $9.49, a glow corrector for $12.49, Cheek and lip color for $13.49, bronzer and blush for $16.99, bronzing serum for $16.99, contour wand for $13.49, diamond bronzer for $16.99. I mean, they're really running with the butter line. They're running with it. They are killing it, L literally. <laughs> Beating a dead horse, if you will. Not interested in any of this. I'm not interested. And Physician's Form is pretty expensive for the drugstore in my opinion, but I'm gonna pass on this stuff. Last drugstore slew of products we're gonna talk about is from CoverGirl. So they're releasing the Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence Foundation in eight shades. Eight shades, CoverGirl. Okay, $21.49 each. That's expensive. That's like Rare Beauty at Sephora. Outlast Lip Stain, six shades for $11.99 each. Clean Fresh Brow Filler Pomade. Th these are tongue twisters. Four shades for $12.99 each. Clean Fresh Brow Enhancer Gel, $12.99. My theater training is coming in handy, enunciating everything. Not interested. Not interested in any of this. I don't know, I'm just... I feel like e.l.f. is the only drugstore brand that I'm like, ooh. When they release something, I'm like, ooh, that looks fun. Ooh, that looks interesting. Uh, every other brand is kind of just like, okay. And, and like the Milani Cream Bronzer I think is cool too, but I'm just kind of bored. What do you think? Like, what are your thoughts on these drugstore products? I would love to know. I just wanted to highlight a creator collaboration that happened while I was away on vacation. We didn't get to talk about it last time, but Patty Alonzo has released a favorites brush set from Sigma. So it includes five brushes, two face brushes and three eye brushes. It is available now at Sigma's website and it does retail for $87. I really love Patty. I love her channel. I'm really happy for her. She definitely deserves this. She does amazing makeup. She seems like a really nice person. I'm gonna get to meet her at Creators and Friends in New Orleans, so I'm really excited. But congratulations, Patty. I will link her brush set down below. Sigma has a lot of sales happening all the time and they do occasionally mark down these brush sets. So keep your eye out if you're wanting to wait for a sale, but five Sigma brushes for $87 seems pretty reasonable because their brushes are very luxurious, but let me know if you picked this up. I would love to know. I always love seeing creators collab with their favorite brands. Listen, I'm not a perfume girly. We've talked about this before. I wore Versace Yellow Diamond for about eight years. That's the only perfume I wore. It was the only perfume I found that I loved, the smell, and then the people around <laughs> And then people around me started wearing it. And so I don't want to wear it anymore because I wanted to smell like Versace Yellow Diamond. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to sound like a snob, <laughs> but I, I just felt like everybody around me was wearing it. So it wasn't very unique anymore. So I stopped wearing it about, I don't want, I don't know, like four years ago, something like that. And I've really not found a perfume that I really like. I find like regular perfumes to be extremely strong smelling. And I just don't like a very strong smelling perfume. It makes me 
like ill, but I do really like body sprays and I really like the Sol de Janeiro body sprays. I think they make really nice body sprays that are beautifully fragrant, but aren't so strong and they don't last like a very long amount of time on me, which I actually don't mind. Like I would rather something that's lightly scented that I have to reapply if I want to, if that makes sense. So all that to say, Sol de Janeiro is releasing a new fragrance. This is the Chirosa 59. It's vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. I don't know exactly what that means, but I am going to smell this in store because I'm interested. Delicia Drench Body Butter is also coming out. It's dropping January, 2024. Uh, when it drops, I'm smelling it. I'm smelling it because I'm ready for it. I have several of their body sprays, but to me, they're very summery scents. So I want something that's a little bit more wintry. I'm ready for it. I love the color of the bottle, like a bluish purple. Yes. Are you excited as well? Viseart is releasing new quads. So these are the Petites Fours, $25. These quads honestly look so beautiful. I do own one of their Petite Fours quads and it's actually the only Viseart product that I own and I actually love it. I took it traveling with me several times. They're tiny, like itty little bitty bitty quads. They're so cute. And I think they have a good balance of color stories. And I think both of these color stories look so beautiful. One is more, oh, one's called the Praline Ep Epice. I don't speak French, obviously, but there are three neutral shimmers and one neutral matte. And then the other one is really beautiful. It looks like there's two mattes and two shimmers, although I could be wrong. It's hard to tell from this picture, but absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna pick these up just cause I have so much makeup right now, but I wanted to highlight them to let you know. I think the quality of the quad that I have is very good. And I think $25 is a good price for these like very luxurious, high quality shadows. So they are available now. Yes, I will link them down below. The last thing I wanna talk about is Rare Beauty is launching a skincare line or they're launching skincare products, I should say. Not surprised, not surprised. The bottles are giving, giving Kim Kardashian, right? Have you ever seen pictures of the inside of her house? This is, this is giving me Kim Kardashian. Find Comfort Body Collection. We have the aromatherapy pen, hmm. body and hair fragrance mist, hydrating hand cream, hydrating body lotion. Launching globally on December 26th or shop it early only on the Sephora mobile app on December 18th. Um, I'm not really in the market for any of these products if I'm going to be honest with you, but uh, I think it's smart. I think the aesthetic is there for the brand. It's very on brand. I'm interested to see reviews. I'm interested to see reviews or like maybe smell these things if they're in store. But for me, I am gonna skip out on it. I just, I'm not in the market for these types of products right now, but let me know your thoughts. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be excited about this. All right, and that is it for this new makeup releases video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on any of the things that I talked about today or any of the things I didn't talk about today because I don't talk about every single new makeup release that comes out. Uh, I just kind of curate it down to the things that I think are the most intriguing exciting, if you will. So let me know your thoughts on anything I mentioned or didn't because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.